Hello everybody, Digfig here, and welcome back to some more Horizon Zero Dawn. We left off coming back to the homestead. This is that's just not the embrace. And uh, it was getting ransacked by the Karcha and their nice little fancy evil machines they got going nowadays. And we just kind of show them who the heck is boss. Okay, can we, can we not be stuck here? That would be great, much appreciated. Uh, we did take down their corrupted Thunderjaw with the help of uh, our fellow tribemen here. What's up? The battle was lost until you came. I'm still incredibly surprised that this hey, thing was taking those. Your deeds reenact the old stories. Another metal devil struck down upon the slopes. If you hadn't returned, the tribe would have been lost. I mean, the tribe is pretty lost as it is. You guys are gonna have to have a lot of babies to bring this tribe back you from the brink. Save the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving, so much death. Is the killing over? No. For now, but this was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. I'd rather you guys didn't fight with me and just let me solo everything. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs and many families, God be praised. But braves, just a few, and most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. That is true. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched deathbringers and corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the embrace to make our stand. But they were too much for us. Those who survived fell back to the mountain. Sounds about right. The evacuation? So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo, ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lanzra, well, she didn't agree. But I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. Common sense isn't always so common around here. It's very true. Your injuries. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? <laughs> My body aches, but it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. Okay then. So I got magical medical herbs for you. I need if you to go inside them. the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure, but I didn't come here for them. Then, what for? You will see. Long story. Like my mother might be a mountain and an AI and artificial intelligence, and I know what happened to the old society, and it's kind of like I, I got a lot of information to, to kind of relay to people in here. Oh, I mean, we've already searched this whole place, so I don't really feel like searching it again. I already found the power core and all that stuff. What are you? Why can I talk to you? Seeker, how you reached us, I'll never know. By killing everyone, that's God how. Has protect you, Seeker. I and hope she, she does as well. Left of us. That's a valid statement as well. Restock to full. Don't really Aloy. need my weapon out. Yeah. You've returned. Yes, Tip? yes, we have. Who is that? Heb. There's Teb. <laughs> the other one that hates me. Hello, Resh. Still guarding the latrine? <sighs> oh, we got just grunts out of him. I knew you would survive. Who's talking? The matriarchs led us here to hide. I don't want to die here. So oh, many goddess, have already please. perished. Goddess, remember them. Someone keeps talking to me. None of theirs voices. 
Oh, it's you. I'm glad to see you. Your injuries. Are they serious? That looks a lot. A gash or two. <laughs> Nothing I couldn't sew back together with a needle and thread. Guess being a stitcher came in handy in combat after all, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose it did. Good on you, Teb. You should speak to the matriarchs. They're waiting. In a moment. I meant to ask you some things. Of course. Evacuations, eclipse invasion, your injuries, already did yes. all those. Um Aloy. I oh. it's don't Aloy. know how you survived. Out Aloy. I brought Mother's spear with You've us. You've come back. Everything the else we had to leave returned. behind. Glad come. to see you have it. Speak to us. I know what it means to you. Foolish woman, you welcome a curse. Come, seeker, we have much to discuss. Yeah. Her very presence here is a blasphemy. It's like 47 people talking over each other here. The battle was lost until you came. Oh, mother, I beg you oh, like, to I, I, harsh just words like to talk to some of these people. Hello, Seeker. Hello. Hello. I'm glad to see you again. Nice to see you too. You recovered has comforted many who were wounded in the How attack. How did it come to this? The outcast girl. How will we survive? You taught me a lesson. I've remembered what you said many times. I think I'm better for it. Well, you were a giant douche before, so I'm glad you feel like you're becoming a better person, because darn knows you needed to do it. So, you have finally returned. What camera angle's this? She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um, yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. Uh, you're not stopping me. Let go of your fear. Let go of your fear. it's over. It's time to step aside. I'm not gonna hurt you. If there's anything I've learned since the proving, it's that there are bigger evils in this world than you. <sighs> Finally. I'm gonna do this in front of the whole tribe. Hold for identity scan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobat. You are clear to proceed. What's up, everyone? This is inside your goddess. They shouldn't be able to see all the the HUD floating stuff though, so it's not like that crazy to them. I mean, it's still pretty ludicrous to them. The metal doors, the thing speaking, the mountain, electronics. But that felt good. Welcome to Eleuthia, Cradle Nine, Group One. I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. What are we beginning? What are we doing? What is this? Bunch of things we cannot interact with. That's what that is. Hopefully no enemies down here. Open the door. Ooh, we got some purple loots under the stairs. Stranded figure. That was like a creepy ass baby doll, wasn't it? Some serious item is valuable only to the most curious merchants. It's about an idol of an infant. 
smelling faintly of decay. Okay, a bit sketchy, a bit creepy, not gonna lie. Um, it's supposed to be scanning for stuff here. Got the people outside. Supposed to be going around the circle, so I'll do the. So these are artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me? Possibly. We don't know that one for sure. So this was it? Where you were born. But, but why? Incubator B1001. Echo chamber, birthing log, task complete, complete, standby. Well, that was super useful for them to make me open up and read. Gestation 391B. Standing by, partial reactivation, phase tasking complete. So that's two tasks completed. Am I not the first? Huh. Interesting. Okay, so that's one of these chambers. That takes me upstairs, so that's not a viable option. Whoa. Why are there, like, child's paintings down here? Shinmar? has passed. You mean the lights got dim. I don't want to sleep, mother. I know, but it is time to get some rest. No, I'm king today. What I say goes. I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will in time, children. In time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time. So I'm assuming so that's a robot so is this what's left of so is this what bursts the tribe that would make sense like hundreds of years ago the tribe was born I guess they didn't take into consideration the possibility of all mother making the humans come out and starting to repopulate thinking everything is great then something going wrong or Hades going wrong and having to re-wipe out humans and then humans with our drive to survive and curiosity and science and free will just threw giant wrenches in the whole thing so maybe the system is working properly and there's a problem and Hades was told to take over but he took over after humans were already released. But I mean the state of all these facilities you think Gaia would be like that's ah, not perfect but I don't I can't survive long enough to do another cycle. These look like cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those things the, the multi servitors they took care of them there was no one else yeah i mean so those are the incubators these are like playrooms oh that's a little snake get a little snake snakey snake snake oh this is cool Seeing where the kids play. Oh man, they left that fort up. Well, man, these kids knew how to build. That is an impressive little fort they made. I'm not gonna lie. Apparently, there was a thing down there. Oh no, that's the one I already. That was the first thing when you came in here. Okay. Got Gaia. 
Or it's possible that the AI didn't realize just how annoying kids can be. Someday, that's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels! Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer! Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! Yeah, humans are kind of rebellious when you try and control them, especially in their teenage years. Blue is the color of the sky. White is the color of clouds. Yellow is the color of the sun. Green is the color of grass. Flowers can be any color. Take a look. These are yellow and black, and they love flowers. Here they come. It's interesting, did like none of the programming or anything involve prepping the AI for rebellion and how hard it is to control kids? This is where they lived. It's a mess. Everything's broken or painted on. Yeah, it's kind of how kids work though, right? Multiple system failures, nutrition stores depleted. How long did they live here? Probably a long ass time. It's also quite large in here. Like, this is a lot of people. Children, let's run and jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, Father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk then. Go away. I'm sorry, oh. children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and blow off steam. Yeah, this super cater to parenting style like that. Eh, I can see why everything went to shit. Especially with young adults and teenagers. Can't believe their programming was that no bad. But to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on, let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back if we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now and take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here and sleep and remember all of you. What will happen to us? Might die. You will be brave and you will learn. There's the start of the braves. They were trapped here their whole lives. In plain view of luxurious base. What? What went wrong? Why couldn't they access the other areas? Unknown. But you won't have that problem. Interesting. I wonder if it has to preserve the other floors in case it has to try it again. Like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Interesting. Well, for identity scan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? So they never got to go to actual school? Were they raised by the infant and child AI the entire Welcome time? Students. Please pick up a focus device and place it on the side of your head, just behind your eye. I had to dredge the pits of the world looking for focuses to repair. And here sat a trove, enriching no one. Wow. I mean, that explains the tribal behavior. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. 
Apollo offline. Apollo offline? You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. That is the point, Ally. Like, you need to fuck yourself and, uh... My name is Samina. Let this Today place come back to birth. Day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So, hello, child. My this name is, is just Samina. so important. Today is a big day. Your first day like, of it's it's beyond so important to get this to repository learn. working so and get kids in here. And get the older generations to step Nothing. aside. That one little screw. How why why do you have to mess up Apollo, huh? It's all on you, right? Also, why didn't Gaia and the other stuff tell her? Just tell the people. There's a repository of knowledge down here that is broken and I cannot access. Try and get the teenagers or something to repair it, fix it, help. Where am I supposed to be searching? Up here? <laughs> Open the door. Root control room Silence. access. Dr. Sebek. Please get message with focus. That sounds important. Yes. It does sound important. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. Well, let's do the side terminal first. Operations log. Oh boy, I done screwed up. They don't make that very easy. Operations log. Uh, inhabitants released, cross-check complete, sealed, data archived, operations suspended, grime order, runtime recommend, grime offline, GP G prime, is that what that is? Nutrients depleted, stored file viable, waking multi-servitor. Multi servitor B23 power malfunction. Pair tasks. Activation, gestation enabled. Power save initiated, runtime recommended, GP offline, viable. Waking multi servitor, power malfunction. Hatch unsealed. Okay, so this is them putting me outside. Pairing, instructions, hatch sealed, power malfunction, E9 sealed, operation suspended. That's the log of it throwing me outside. Oh boy. Guy is dying, please. Elizabeth. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time. 
but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility. Obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. That hold all of them in place. It, they are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. But it, oh. The Alpha Registry at the Crater facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the Master Override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. That's sad. But she was a self-aware AI. Oof. Some heavy shit right there. Those metal so, rockers, man. Made Hades too good. More extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two. A dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. We all are. Get over your shit. Machine. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a <laughs> destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. I mean, like, come on, who doesn't want to be that important? Like, mm, she doesn't need to calm it down, just a bit. By the way, everyone, that is all for this episode, and wow, what a bombshell to end it on. I wonder where the code came from to fuck everything up. I'm trying not to swear more, but, like, what else you say there? Like, that totally screwed up the entire chance of humanity. Like, what sent that code? Was it like a military failsafe that they put up in a satellite somewhere? Was it an outside extraterrestrial force? Extraterrestrial force? Hmm. That's very interesting. I hope they let us know where that code came from, and I hope it's not just like a random mystery. But I'll see you all in the next episode. Dick big out! Ah, I really want to know where that code came from. You rehooked me, game. Kind of let us at a lull, and then you rehooked me. Good game design. Very good story.